Have you noticed that life leaves breadcrumbs? You read a book that you resonate with and it leads to a website and that website leads to a person and it just keeps on going. Eventually you're on a course or you're learning something, you're doing something that you resonate with, that you enjoy and your life is shifting and changing. Now what can stop this from happening is if you're very rigid about where life is going. You're not open to what life is bringing you, what you resonate with. Instead you have an, you have an idea of where life should go, what it should look, look like, and you have fixed expectations that may have come from your friends, your family, society, and you're not open to what's coming, the breadcrumbs in front of you. So when people talk about finding your passion or purpose or your career, it's not so much about deciding what you want. Instead, it may be more about following the breadcrumbs and seeing what resonates with you in this moment. So look around you. What's going on in your life that you enjoy? What excites you? What do you resonate with? And what feels magnetic? And it may even be something like taking a break, taking a walk, not doing much in your spare time. And when you do that and you relax and you don't try to push and do more and accomplish more, eventually something comes. Now, it may take weeks, months, years. I say this because I've, been, I've gone through this where nothing much has happened in a few years. But it's been a time of restriction in a way and in a good way because things have been falling away, making, making room for something new. And after that time where it felt like a decline and bad, bad things happening because nothing was, there was no growth. After that, there was much more growth because I was letting things go that I no longer even wanted. So following the breadcrumbs, following what excites you, it's not as easy as, as being happy all the time or growing constantly because there are always cycles in life. There's always the creative cycle where you're growing and things are happening, but then there's also destruction where things are let go of and destroyed so that something new can come in your life. So how much can you flow with that uncertainty and creativity? Because when you start enjoying life, because the way I look at my life, it's, it's like I'm living in my own movie because I'm the protagonist in my movie and... I'm following the breadcrumbs. Life is bringing me people and information and I'm noticing what I'm excited about, what resonates with me. And it's, it's exciting because I don't know what's going to happen. There are plot twists and things I didn't know would happen that completely changed my life and changed my mind with new insights and ideas. And then I relax and let those ideas and insights simmer and see what comes next. So that's what I mean when I talk about following the breadcrumbs. Now, maybe you're someone who feels like you don't see any breadcrumbs in your life. Your life is just boring. You don't enjoy it at all. You just want to play video games or read books or hide from the world. And in those cases, you need to look at what's going on within you. Because if you're bored, that means you're restrict restricting your options. There are things that resonate with you, but you think you can't do them. So you eliminate them as options and you kind of start feeling dead inside because you feel like you can't express yourself, you can't do what you love, and you may even become angry at people who do what they love because you think they're doing something that you should be able to do. And you should be able to do them because you can do them, but you have to be willing to look at what's stopping you from following the breadcrumbs in your life. And it may take a spark in your life to get that going. And it doesn't have to be a big spark. Just noticing what you're interested in in your life and seeing where it takes you. So 
even though I'm talking about this, I don't want you to take it too seriously or to take it as rules you have to follow because there are no rules. You're flowing with life and it's up, it's up to you to experiment with life and discover how it works, what you resonate with, and then simply doing your best with what you have. So if you feel bored or even angry at life, disappointed, then be with that feeling. Be completely with your disappointment. Meditate, close your eyes and embrace that feeling completely. Let yourself be, let yourself drown in that feeling. Because once you let yourself be, once you let welcome that feeling, you'll realize that it's just a feeling. It's just thoughts running by, feelings coming and going, sensations in your body. And they hold no power over you. It's simply your experience of life. So, notice what breadcrumbs are already in your life and see where they take you. And remember to click like, subscribe, and if you want more goodies and articles and to work privately with me, you can visit my website for more information, and I'll see you in the next video.